so very important to remind women all over the world to check your boobies. I don't know somebody who doesn't know somebody who has or has had breast cancer. I've seen it with my mother. My mother is a breast cancer overcomer. I was performing a piece on breast cancer for my friend Megan Edwards and it was telling the story about her mother being diagnosed with breast cancer. My name is Janelle Bryan and I am a seven year survivor of breast cancer. Hi, this is Nelly. Hi everyone. Hi. This is your girl Tabitha. What's up guys, it's your girl Nikita with a gentle reminder for all my ladies out there to check your breasts every day. As we all know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's that time of year again where we place breast cancer awareness into the spotlight. So I really want to stress the importance of monthly self-exams and knowing what's normal for your body. Giving yourself regular self breast exams is not only a great idea because it is going to put you in a good position to be the first to know what's going on with your body but it also gives you like authority like and control and I feel like that's really empowering to have that kind of agency. I also want to remind you to consistently do your checks ladies. Check your breasts monthly not only in October but monthly. I think it's really important for us as women to have an awareness of what's going on within our bodies and within our breast health especially. It's something that we need to remember not to neglect. And it's also a time of year where a lot of people do some introspection and focus on their own health and how they're living their life and what they eat and how they exercise to really help combat uh, developing such a serious illness. I've seen firsthand the entire journey of finding something abnormal to receiving diagnosis. I actually discovered something was wrong on my 35th birthday. And for me, October is super important to let women know that yes, you can develop this illness, but you don't necessarily first have to go to your doctor once you start feeling bad. I know so many women who, from the stories I read online and everything, who found out they had breast cancer from a at-home self-test. I actually had a bloody discharge from my nipple um, and no lump that you could feel. When I followed up with my doctor, I did have a mammogram, um, but the mammogram didn't actually show that anything was wrong. That was followed up by an ultrasound, which did show the mass. All of this was happening a full five years before the recommended age of 40 to begin mammograms. So if I had waited until then to pay attention, uh, you know, God only knows what the outcome could have been. And when we as the family receive the information, it's really hard to take in. And imagine how hard it was for her on her own to take in, you know? And uh, one thing she always said to me is that Tracy, breast cancer is not a death sentence, one. Breast cancer is not an automatic death sentence, especially if it's detected early. Two, I am your barometer. If I look okay and if I seem strong, just go with me. Because it was hard to see my mother um, going through chemo. It was hard to see her on her low days. It was hard to... My mother is such a strong person, it was just hard to see her not being able to function as she would usually do at times. The music for the piece was Megan's mother telling her story and I had to obviously through the rehearsal hear that story and it registering that this is my friend's mother so close to home, so close to us that you know one day she was fine or so she thought she was and then another day you hear that you have this disease that could alter your life so drastically. I also want to stress the importance of knowing your family history and sharing information among family members because a family history of any disease not only increases your chances of developing it, but it can also affect how early you develop it as well. It's really important for your medical team to have an accurate family history to know and to consider um, in any course of treatment. God forbid you should be diagnosed. Often you hear about these breast cancer situations and all the other chronic diseases diseases and they don't really register until they hit very close to home and put things into perspective. There are really simple ways that you can do a self-check at home. Most women do it in the shower when they're washing and just feel around your breast for any irregular lumps and after some time you know what your breasts feel like. For someone like me who has 
fibrous breast tissue. There are always things in my in my breast that feel like they could be lumps, but now I know the difference between what it should feel like on a regular basis and what it shouldn't feel like, and giving myself um, self exams on a regular basis puts me in a good position to know if there's something different that I need to pay attention to. And once you feel something that you know is not normal, then you can go to your doctor and that early detection is really what saves lives. Early detection saves lives. Early detection is key. It is on my mind all the time. Tracy, check. Literally, every time you take a shower, and if you feel something, if you sense something, feel free to contact your physician. Don't panic. Don't feel ashamed. No question is too dumb or too small. Those self-check exams are super important because ultimately, early detection is your best protection. And there's really no way to get around it other than early diagnosis. And when you do recognize that, don't be afraid. Get it checked. So go ahead, feel up your bubbies. If you're not checking regularly, don't be ashamed. Go to your gynecologist, go to the um, Barbados Cancer Services. Someone will guide you through the process, but just make it a priority to know exactly how to check yourself and know what to feel for. Because some people might have lumpy boobs, it's true. And so every lump you feel is not one to be worried about. Put yourself in the best position to deal with it as early as possible. I was just still so very moved by how strong my mother was for herself, but also for all of us. She didn't have to be, but she wanted to be. Her strength came from a place of, I want to fight this. It wasn't from a place of hiding um, emotions or hiding how she truly felt or about what she was going through. Because she definitely expressed pain and hurt and fear sometimes, but she really expressed, you know what? I am going to get on top of this and I'm going to do what I can to get myself to a better place. And she did. And I feel so very inspired by her journey. And I know there are many other um, inspirational stories out there. And then there's some that are sad and families have had to go through some really, really difficult times uh, where breast cancer is concerned. For all of those who are fighting the fight, to my survivors, to my warriors, we stand with you. This includes my aunt and anyone else who is on this journey. We are with you, all right? You know, be there for them, listen to them. Sometimes they need to vent. Sometimes they just want to talk about something else, but just be there. Take care. Love you guys.